Welcome. My name is Minister and Prophet Robert Lee Williams from God's Miracle Ministry Revival. Today is March the 5th, 2019. The Lord has put on my heart to speak to you today about the 100-year-old prophecy done by William Seymour the founding pastor of the Azuzu Street Revival, and by Sister Woodworth Edder. Now, why do you think God would have me speak on this today? It's because we're getting ready for the great end-time revival that has been prophesied by these individuals. A 100-year-old prophecy. It's a little over 100 years old now. But we're going to see the greatest end-time revival the world has ever seen. And I thank God for that. I have been shown this in dreams. Most of my life started when I was in the second grade, seven, eight years old that I'd be standing in front of large crowds, thousands of people preaching, and then I'd be saying, in Jesus' name you're healed, and the Lord Jesus Christ would heal them all instantly. You know, you might think that's kind of hard to believe, especially for the people who are lukewarm. But if you're on fire for God, you believe this. You know there's a great end-time revival coming. It's already started in different parts of the world. God is speaking to a lot of us. His chosen ones to come forth during this hour. I want to tell you a little bit about the teaching today. Let's go into the teaching and then I'll speak more at the end of it. The Azuzu Street Awakening, which over the years resulted in 600 million being swept into the kingdom of God and gave birth to the Pentecostal movement. Began in 1906. It was one of the greatest outpourings of the Spirit of God since Pentecost. Did you know that? Multitudes were saved, healed, and filled with the Holy Spirit. Incredible miracles occurred. Are you filled with the Holy Spirit? That's part of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Are you filled? I'm going to show you how to get filled with the Holy Spirit if you don't know. Maybe you've never heard of it. The this great revival moved from Los Angeles to its new focal point of Chicago, Illinois. The two great centers of revival in Chicago were the North Avenue Mission and the Stone Church. Pentecost swept from Chicago to Canada to Europe to South America and Africa. One of the greatest outpourings occurred at Stone Church in 1913. The renewed evangelist Marion Woodworth Adder began a revival July 2nd, 1913 at Stone Church. The services were to last until the end of July, but continued for six months. This was a time of divine appointment for the city of Chicago. God rent the heavens and came down. Since the days of the early church began to occur at Stone Church, Woodworth at Stone Church, word began to spread throughout Chicago 
miraculous healings, deliverance from demonic oppression, conversations, and of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit happening in these meetings. Advertisements were no longer necessary. The city was incredibly shaken. Word spread of the miraculous intervention of God. Thousands come on trolleys, buggies, trains, while many walked. Some came from distances of 1,600 miles away. 1,200 to 1,500 packed into the stone church each night. The basement was filled and many stood outside on the street. Street meetings were held to accommodate them. Three services were held on Sundays. As Christians prayed around the altar one evening, Sister Woodworth Adder and others gave the following powerful prophecy and divine promise which they prophesied would occur within a hundred years of the 1913 Chicago visitation. She prophesied of the coming end-time revival. We are not yet up to the fulfillment of the former reign, and that were the latter reigns come. It will far exceed anything we've ever seen. William Seymour, the leader of Azuzu Street Awakening, also prophesied that in a hundred years they would be an outpouring of God's Spirit and the Shekinah glory that would be greater and more and far more reaching than what was experienced at Azusa. It has begun almost a hundred years since these prophecies were given. I believe that we have reached the time of fulfillment of these hundred year old prophecies. We must be diligently to pray, intercede, protect what God is doing. We must encourage and edify one another as never before. We must crucify every critical judgment and religious spirit that may be within us. We must put on holiness and righteousness of Christ. Our time of divine destiny has come. We are about to experience what Brother Seymour and Sister Woodworth Adder foresaw. God is about to rend the heavens and come down. Praise God. Praise God. And it was talking about divine destiny. A few months ago, uh, God gave me a dream, and I did a video on it. And I was shown my book of destiny. It was a pretty thick book, too. This is just another confirmation. We are about ready to get into this great end-time revival. It has begun. Do you want to be a part of this great end-time revival? Do you want to help God out? Do you want to experience great miracles, signs, and wonders? I do because God has placed dreams and visions in me all my life. He has raised me up and taught me, and he has anointed me with special impartations. You know, talking about Azuzu Street, as most of you know that follow my ministry, I do hold the Azuzu Street revival anointing upon myself and, and, and on my shofar back here. 
And I got that through a divine connection that God set up through Bishop Otis Clark. That's this gentleman right here. He was 107 years old in this picture. And notice he's holding my shofar, the one you see up above here. He held that for 15 or 20 minutes. I knew what that was doing. That was getting some of his anointing on there. But you know, I went to his funeral when he was 109 at Kenneth Copeland's church back in uh, 2012, I do believe. And the Lord told him to hold back three little bottles of anointing oil from the Azuzu Street Revival, the, the, the mission to be given out at his funeral. And when I went to the grave site, that's when his daughter anointed about 30 of us with this anointing oil. And this anointing oil was in the glory cloud and in the Shekinah glory. I knew that was a very important time in my life, but I didn't know how important it was until six years later, last April. The Lord spoke to me to give Apostle Tony Kim, the right-hand man of Sid Roth, it's supernatural, a double portion anointing, and an Azuzu Street anointing. And I did that. It happened. And then from then on, I was able to give out an Azuzu Street impartation to anybody who wanted it. I have been to a few churches now to have done that. I'm going to do that again here in two weeks, here in Independence, Missouri. But that's not the only anointing that I have. December 9th, 2018, I went to Dallas, Texas, to New Day Christian Center with Pastor T.C. Huggins. He had a guest speaker of Jack Cole, Jr. I don't know if you know who Jack Cole, Jr. is, or even Jack Cole, Sr., but I want to tell you just a little bit about Jack Cole, Sr. He had, back in the 40s and 50s, he preached under the largest tent revival in America, and instantaneous healings and miracles and signs and wonders happened in that place. And his son picked up his mantle. And back on December the 9th, I stood before him and I asked for the full impartation for the healing and miracle ministry. Now, here is a picture of myself standing next to Jack Cole Jr. there in Dallas, Texas. And you can watch that impartation here on my YouTube or my website at God's Miracle Ministry or God's Miracle Ministry Revival.com. You can see that with your own eyes that I got this anointing. You know, he told me that there was going to be tests. And it's going to turn into testimonies. He said, God said you were asking for a hard thing. Well, and so far, it's been kind of a hard thing. You know, I've been in the hospital about three times with AFib and uh, pancreatitis. I lost my uncle. And about five days later after that, I lost my only brother. So that's been kind of hard on me. And uh, there's other things. You know, my daughter is in the hospital right now with some intestinal problems. And now she has spots on her lungs. She doesn't smoke or drink or anything like that. She was only born with one kidney, so she doesn't do any of that stuff. 
There's some kind of spots in her lungs. They're going to have to check that out. She has diverticulitis it's with part of her intestine problems. But you see, I think God is trying to wake her up too, to get closer to Him. But, you know, these are tests for me too. You know, I've got to go through this stuff. Why am I going through it? Because I said I would. I volunteered for this. I wanted this anointing. Why did I want the full impartation for the healing and miracle ministry? That's because of the dreams and visions I've had. I am doing the will of God. Step by step. And I have accepted this call. He has chosen me to do certain things for him. Many are called, but few are chosen. Are you called? Well, of course you are. If you're watching me here, you are called. But are you chosen? Are you trusted to fulfill your call of God? Can God trust you? If He can, He will choose you to do certain things for Him. I know my call of God is very big. I've always known it all my life. You know, God has set me in front of hundreds of ministers and a lot of senior ministers and women of God throughout the world. And I thank God for that. I thank God for introducing me to William Seymour, or not not William Seymour, but Bishop Otis Clark, the last pastor of Azusa Street, and Jack Cole Jr., and David Terrell, and Ken Peters, a lot of other prophets. I thank God for that. You know, right now, my where I go to church where God has got me planted here in Kansas City is at Boone Tabernacle. The pastor, the Bishop L.F. Thuston, he is the chairman of the board over all the church of Christ, God in Christ, all over the world. You know, he's a very smart individual. Got excellent discernment, highly intelligent, and God is elevating him even higher and higher all the time. We're going to see. I told him a few months back that the glory cloud and the Shekinah glory was going to come in his church. And he told me that is what he has been praying for for some time. And I told him, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to bring that in. I haven't done it yet, but it's going to happen. It's God's timing. But I have a feeling it's going to happen this year. The more I go out and preach, the more of God we all see. The first... You know, when I went last year in July to Wichita, Kansas to preach at Mount Carmel, Church of God in Christ, the Lord showed up. Very powerful. But you can watch that here on YouTube at Prophetic Info number one. Go to the Wichita meeting and you can see it within five minutes and 32 seconds. You will see a white orb, a white streak, come across the screen that got picked up. That's an angelic being. That's a blessing from God. It was the same time that I was asking for the glory cloud and the Shekinah glory to show up. The same exact moment. And it was very powerful. I was able to give out Azuzu Street impartations. 
Pray for people for healing and miracles to happen. And they did happen. Prophetic words were given out by the Lord. He spoke to those people and their lives were changed. And then I went into Dallas, Texas and spoke down there at New Day Christian Center where I met uh, Jack Cole Jr. But at that time, I went down there to preach and I preached the same message about the Azusa Street Revival and Impartations. Miracles happened in that place. The glory of God showed up. It was so heavy, the pastor said, they couldn't hardly stand in the presence of the Lord like that. And when they came up to get this impartation or get prayed for, they all got on their knees before the Lord. They humbled themselves before the Lord. And I was able to give this impartation out and pray for them and give them all prophetic words. Their lives were changed. And now I'm getting ready to change another congregation where the Lord is. It's, it, it's all the Lord. It, it, it's not about me. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm here just being an obedient servant. I am going to be in Independence, Missouri. I'm going to be at the Shekinah Glory Fire Ministries at 10811 East 23rd Street, Independence, Missouri, on Sunday, March the 17th, 2019. The service starts at 11 a.m. And if you need a healing, if you need a miracle in your life, come to that service. And you will be blessed. You will get a miracle. You will get a healing from whatever the Lord gives you. It's going to be powerful. I went there about a month ago, prayed for just one lady. I've, I've, I've never been to that church. And I went there for on a, on a, on a Wednesday for their Bible teaching. And, and the pastor wanted to know more about me. I handed him a brochure. And I gave a little bit of testimony about the anointings I had in my life. And I said, I only came here to pray for this one lady. He said, go ahead. I did. And then the line started forming. I had no idea that was going to happen. I didn't know I was going to pray for everybody in that service on that Wednesday. Probably about 15 people. And everyone got a prophetic word. They all got prayed for for healing and for miracles in their lives. Their lives were changed. The pastor and his wife invited me to come back and speak on March the 17th. And I'm going to go here in two weeks to their church. And but I told everyone to learn about the Azuzu Street Revival. Learn about the saints of Azuzu Street. Because God is going to use them as He used the saints of Azuzu Street. They're going to be able, they're going to get this impartation. That's if they want it. Now, not everybody's going to want this impartation because it comes with a price. That means you've got to stop sinning. You may, you're going to have to give up some friends. You're going to have to quit sinning. You're going to have to give up some things in your life if you want this. If you are hungry enough, then they're going to get this impartation. And if you want this impartation, I suggest you be there at that service. I don't care where you come from. You will get prayed for and you will get this impartation. Because the Holy Spirit will give it to you. This is going to spread all over the world. Now, I'm not the only one with the Azuzu Street anointing on your on my life 
there's at least 30 of us that I'm aware of that uh, got anointed with this oil. But his, but, but Bishop Otis Clark's daughter and granddaughter, they're going all over the world giving out the same impartations out. You know, this is spreading all over the world. You know, now God has got me with the church of God in Christ right now. But it doesn't matter where I go to. You call me up, I'll come to your church anywhere in America at any time. As long as God pays for my way down there and expenses, hey, I'm there. I have nothing else to do in life but to serve God. And I thank God for that. So, I just want to put out how important this is. The great end time revival. You know, I stayed up last night and did a lot of praying. And God revealed things to me. I'm going to do another video right after this and talk about what I was praying about. What the Lord was giving me revelation on. I'm going to talk about that in my next video, so watch that. But uh, if you want an Azuzu Street Revival impartation, or if you just need a healing, you need a miracle in your life, then come to this service or invite me to your church or to your revival service. I'll be glad to come. You can contact me through my website at godsmiracleministry.com, godsmiracleministryrevival.com. I also have another website. It's called propheticinformationministries.com. You know, God is going to pour out His love like you've never seen before. You know, we have a lot of things going on in this world. A lot of Bible prophecy is happening. You're going to see things like you've never seen before. There's going to be death and destructions all over the world. It's happening. It happened over the weekend down there in Alabama with this mile-long tornado. People like that need, need miracles. If you happen to be in a revival, you need a revival down there, I'm willing to come. People are hurting. That's what I'm here for. To pray for people that are hurting. God wants to sh share out His love to you. Pour it out to you. And I thank God for that. He wants to comfort everybody. It doesn't matter what color you are, where you're from, what denomination you're from. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ. Let Him pour out His love to you. Let Him pour out His healings and miracles to you. He is the miracle worker. I'm not. I'm just a minister. I'm the mouthpiece that he is using. And I thank God for that. We all must humble ourselves before God. We must get sin out of our life. We have to become holy because God is holy. We also must be holy before him. And all you ministers out there, you know that. You have to be holy. You have to be obedient unto your call. And then he will raise you up. But this is the great end time revival, the greatest move the world has ever seen. That's going to see. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close now. I'm going to get ready for my next video. I hope this has blessed you. Let me pray for you real quick. If you need a miracle or a healing 
Or if you want to just pray to bring me in and some of my ministry team in, and we will come. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I ask for your help to touch the people who are watching this video. Touch their heart. Bring them to the Lord Jesus Christ that they may be healed, may be made whole, the demons come out of them, they, are, they all be set free, and they all do their call of God. Give them the hunger, Lord God, for you. I thank you, Lord, and I speak healing to each and every one who is watching this video. I speak healing. I speak miracles in their lives. I speak finances in their lives. Lord, heal their souls. Heal their their hearts. There's people out there grieving. You may must have, you might have just lost a loved one like I have. The Lord will be there to comfort you. He wants to pour out his love to you. All you have to do is accept Him into your heart as your Lord and Savior. Find a good church that teaches the whole Bible. You know, I would encourage you, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. But I encourage you maybe to seek out a church of God in Christ in your area. Sure. That may be a predominant African-American church, but it's for all people. That's the way William Seymour wanted it. The way God wanted it. To be, you know, not, you know, to, to have all races there. You know, seek them out. See how holy these people are. You know, I've been to a lot of churches in my days. But man, they're on fire for God. At least the churches I've been to. You know, it's phenomenal the way they worship God. The hunger they have for the Lord. Seek them out. Try it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close for now. But I would encourage you, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, hit the subscribe button. You have a comment or anything, just put it at the below here and leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. I love to see your comments. So check out my website at God's Miracle Ministry Revival.com or Prophetic Information Ministries.com. But I want to thank you for tuning in and watching today. And go to my next video. Until next time, this is Minister and Prophet Robert Lee Williams from God's Miracle Ministry.